We differentiate bacteria into two major groups, gram positive and gram negative, based on their cell wall. The gram positive cell wall is relatively simple. An interphospholipid bilayer about five nanometers thick, followed by an extremely thick peptidoglycan wall. This dense layer is approximately 50 nanometers thick. The gram negative wall is more complex, featuring two phospholipid bilayers. These membranes are spaced approximately 40 nanometers apart. In between them lies a peptidoglycan layer that is significantly thinner than the one gram positive bacteria have. The outer membrane contains lipopolysaccharides. This brings us to the method that allows us to differentiate these two classes, the gram stain. Invented by the Danish scientist Hans Christian Gram in 1884, it's still a cornerstone technique in microbiology. Let's see how it works on a molecular level. The stain starts with crystal violet, which penetrates and stains both bacteria purple. Next, iodine is added. It forms large complexes with the dye inside the cells. The key step is the ethanol wash. The alcohol damages the phospholipid bilayers. For gram-positive bacteria, the thick peptidoglycan wall traps the dye complexes. For gram-negative bacteria, the outer membrane is stripped away and the inner membrane is damaged. The thin peptidoglycan layer cannot hold the large dye complexes. They can escape, thereby decolorizing the cell. Finally, the counterstain safranin is applied. Safranin binds to negatively charged components within the cell. Safranin also stains the gram-positive cells. However, the trapped crystal violet stain completely overpowers the pink counterstain. The result, gram-positive bacteria appear purple and gram-negative bacteria appear pink. 